Now, if you noticed, I still have that same picture that we did in the last lesson up. I want to show you the magic eraser tool and then um, how to flatten an image and what advantages that has. So if you go here under the eraser toolbox, we have the magic eraser. Now we've dealt with tolerance before and it's basically saying how similar colored pixels do you want to erase. So if we start to drag the eraser and then release We'll see it's erased part of the picture. You notice the tolerance might be a little too low, but you can make the picture look broken up if you do it right. See, watch, if we take the tolerance and put a little bit higher, 35. See, now it's erasing a lot of similar colors. See? So it can add an interesting effect to a shot. What's kind of neat is you still have those shadows and those embossments, but it almost looks like this blew away in the wind or washed away. So it can add a nice effect, um, especially when you have already layered effects like we have on this photo and you start to erase. Um, it's almost as if you're rubbing away uh, paint and that's basically what it does. You don't have to drag, you can just click and it will erase similar colors to what you picked. And depending on how similar colors you want it to erase, um, that's your tolerance level. So the, the higher the tolerance, the more wide uh, array of colors that are close to the one you pick that it's going to erase. If you have a very low tolerance, it's going to only choose colors or shades that are very close to what the color you clicked on was. So that adds a neat effect. Now, if you notice here at the bottom, it says our document and this is document size. We have 1.25 megs and 2.96 megs. And what this means is if we flatten the image, and what I mean by flatten is we have three separate layers here. Um, and basically it's almost like having one picture, two pictures, and three pictures. So you have the amount of data that you would have for three separate pictures. But they're all layered on top of one another and you're seeing it as one picture but it takes up a lot of storage. So once you have a document the way you want it, you can flatten or merge them all into one layer and it'll take up less space. And that's what this first figure is. 1.25 megs is how big it would be if you flattened it. 2.96 megs is how big it is currently with all the different layers. So if you feel it's the way you want it to be, you can go basically over here under layer options and there will be uh, an option here to flatten the image. Now what you may want to do before you flatten an image is create a duplicate. So you go save as down here and you could save as a copy. Save another one and then flatten that. That way, see, because once you flatten an image you're not able to um, modify the layers and create these effects um, because you're dealing with all one image now and not separate layers. So flattening is advantageous but only suggested if, if, you're, if you're finished with the product. And even then it might be good to just save another copy so if you want to go back and modify any of these things you can. So there's a little bit more on layers and the uh, magic eraser.